homegirl bought a lot of books. And homegirl has to organize this library. <laughs> Guess what? What? I got my period. Let's do the period dance. I just got it. Every single month when I get my period, we dance. Just got the period. I'm editing Natalie into Justin McCartney's apartment. Oh my god, Justin McCartney. Hello, honey. So there's a TikTok trend where you edit yourself into your celebrity crush. That's what's up. I look fugly today. I feel like this is the point in Vlogmas where, where everybody stops giving a damn. And I'm wearing like my real PJs and stuff like that. Shout out to Womanize. Dennis hates this shirt, but I love it. So comfy. <laughs> oh my god. This is the beginning of the Justin McCartney. I think if you make it black and white, it'll look better. No, he looks we... mad to be there with me. Alright, this is one of the first pictures. It's me, Justin McCartney, and Joe Banner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I look so bad. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't been wanting to vlog today because I'm just not in the mood to like get ready or even fix my hair. This has been this since the morning. I just received the sweetest gift. Look at this plushie from my cousin Liza. This is so sweet, thank you. I'm so happy. Oh, it's actually like the perfect pillow to watch videos. Dennis and I were just watching some fun anime. This is so cute. This is from the shop Zoki. I love it. I love it. I love it. About to add it to my collection. Actually, I'm about to say thank you for her. Look how cute it looks next to all my plushies. Oh my god. Okay, so I did a little bit of a damage over at Books A Million. I'm very excited for this. So I'm going to show you guys some of the purchases and stuff that I bought. Okay, so as you can see, you see, you see, I got ready for you. I put on a bra. I uh, washed my face. I put on a little bit of moisturizer. I was just all over the place today, to be honest. And currently wearing the cute little set that Dennis gave me from the Target Spot video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. It's super fun to do. Oh, it's so hot. I did a little bit of book shopping, okay? So I posted a 24 hours locked in my art room and I saw one little comment. I saw you because I read all of the comments, okay? So I saw a comment that says, Natalie, you've been reading the same book since like three months ago and you caught me. You caught me. No, it's true. Here's the thing. I honestly have been not in my reading game. This isn't the only book I'm currently reading. Here's where we're going to begin. Okay, first of all, this is not inspiring to me. Okay, so it's been a bit since I've actually organized my library and it's all over the place. It's not categorized by anything, which is like where it gets really confusing. I have all of my dad's like Christian books here, which it's okay, but can you take it back daddy here's the reality i have been wanting this one book this one book it's called The Hating Game, okay, by Sally. I don't know. It's called The Hating Game, and I have not been able to get it. And I feel like in my head, I'm stuck because it's the only book I truly, really want to read. But whatever. Nonetheless, I went to Books A Million, and I did some damage. So here we go. This is what I ended up buying. So I like to buy books for my unborn child. So this is God's Very Good Idea. Of course, it's a Christian book, because why not? And this is the first one. I thought it was just so cute. I'm just obsessed with children's book. Like, one I'd love to be able to just write my own and I just think it's so cute. So this is for my future kid. One day, one day. Oh, I also bought another one for my future kid because hello, Goodnight Moon is a freaking classic. If you haven't read this book, oh, it just brings back so many memories. My poor little father couldn't even read and he was just like, in the green room, there was a telephone and I was like, oh, there's the rat. And then just like looking through all the pages. It's such a nice, just jolly little book. I love it. I'm so dehydrated. Ah, so I purchased my very first nonfiction again in months. So yeah, so I've always been the kind of person that I only read nonfiction books because I always used to like, oh gosh. <laughs> I'm tired. I decided to pick up this book. It's called Make Time by Jake Knapp and John Zeratsky. How to focus on what matters every single day because dude, I just need something in my life to kind of like break it down, tell me how to achieve a little bit, you know, be productive, but still keep it together. I feel like my attention at times is just somewhere else. So I'm very excited to just kind of pick up another nonfiction. These definitely take me a lot longer to get through just because I'm consuming so much content. Oh honey, are you ready for this one? Da 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 da. A little life. 
say what i will be honest i know little to nothing about this book other than the fact that it is a heart-wrenching heart strifling i don't even know if that's a word book and just like the guy he's very sad i'm going to be sad i don't know why but every single person that puts a review up on youtube of this book has cried and i haven't genuinely had a book that does that to me in a while so i was like hmm i kind of want to read this but i just saw another review and the girl was so sad and she said she would never recommend this to anyone and i am genuinely a very sensitive person but there's just something calling me about this book so i'm gonna pick it up it's also so nice and fat and look at that flop look at that flop okay you know it's real when the flop is like that yeah so i'm very excited it just smells Oh, it smells like books. I love it. And then I purchased, oh, Homebody by Rupi Kare. Okay, my girl right up in here. I actually had the honor of meeting her, you guys. I was fangirling. I think I've met her twice. One's at Lily Singh's thing. And then the other one, literally at her tour, I went into Miami and then I got to meet her backstage and I was like, what? But she is so amazing. I love her writing. She's a beautiful poet and she's a freaking phenomenal performer and this is her new book and then i decided to try something a little bit different this is a manga ish you know very beautiful graphic book and this is called fangirl i was just obsessed with the artwork of this and i'm just very interested to read this it looks really cool beautiful i am kind of sad that it's not colored but that's how a lot of you know mangas are and like graphic novels so i'm like all right that's cool and then the final book that i got was by stephen king called cujo i think when I first read this, I thought it said culo, which means ass in Spanish. And I was like, how ironic. But this book is actually in Spanish. I don't read in Spanish, but this is for my in-law because it's so funny. So he is like the nicest guy. He literally reminds me of Snow White because he loves animals. He's like an animal whisperer. Like he has like little squirrels in the back. He has all these cute little ducks and like they're not his own, but they always come to the house, which is really cool. But he is obsessed with horror. And I just think it's hilarious. Like how polar opposite. And so I gave him a book not too long ago for his birthday. And so I was like, oh, maybe he, you know, like it's just fun to be entertained. So I was going to give him this one as well. So those were my books. I cannot wait to get the hating game. I don't know why I haven't done it. And I'm going to organize my library because it just looks really, really bad. I'll tell you the books that I've been kind of reading like here and there. And this is why I haven't literally finished a book in a while. This is what I've been doing recently, okay? And literally everything is all over the place. So this is one, Burn After Writing. I got it for 20% off of Target. Target. Yeah, yeah. And this book is just fire. Okay. There's a page in here that says like, write your first true love. And I was like, whoa, that is so deep. And it's just a lot of deep questions. And in the end, you're just supposed to burn it. So I thought, hey, that's pretty cool. So that's what I'm currently doing. Also the Virgin Suicides. I didn't get very far into this book, maybe like 50 pages, but this is another one that I'm like working through. Okay. I know. I'm going to stop doing that. I just need to like read it. This one, ooh, the Magpie Society. This is by your one and only Zoe Zug and Amy McGull. Hi, Amy. Okay. I'm so excited. This one I did. Oh, I guess I didn't get in that deep. It was really, really good. I was hooked on this and I really need to pick it back up. See, this is the problem. I haven't spent a lot of time in my library because it's just like not inspiring me right up in here. There's a lot I have to get rid of. I have all of these like medical books that were from one of my friends that I just need to give away. And then I just need to like reorganize this. Okay. I have all my journals down there. This is another one that I started. Ready Player One. Didn't really get that far into, to be honest. I was feeling sad that day and that's kind of where that happened uh oh this one was super cute dancing at the pity party it's a really pretty graphic novel and it's just like a book you want to take your time with it's actually colored and it's gorgeous i absolutely love it oh gosh i just want to read another book like this which is why i think the hating game will give me those vibes because this book is fire i'm obsessed with helen huang's writing and i actually do have the bride test but for some reason i just haven't been gravitating towards it oh i also started this one eleanor elephants olifants and i don't know i just didn't really get into it so i kind of have to give it another try oh i also started this one only got a few pages in as you can see how to stop time this one was kind of cute but it kind of reminded me of like vampires so i'm like oh, i don't know but uh yeah i just have to keep at it so we're gonna organize my library this place needs help and i just need inspiration look how cute i gotta put batteries on this little one homegirl bought a lot of books and homegirl has to organize this library Okay, so I'm gonna do something really crazy that I think I'm pretty sure I'm gonna regret in 10 minutes is I'm gonna remove all of the books, just put them on the floor because that is the way I organize my home, okay? It's, it's a terrible way to do it, but it's like, it's the only way that, you know, works with me. So let's do this. <laughs> I 
already have a headache. I don't know. What is the best way to organize books? Like I asked you guys on Twitter and stuff. Not many of you gave me answers. Okay. Like, is it by genre? Is it by like color, author? I don't know. I kind of want to do like a rainbow theme. And then there's Oprah Winfrey. What the hell is she doing on my bookshelf? Girl, I love you, but these are magazines. These are supposed to be in my bathroom. See what I'm saying? This has gotten to a new level of just not okayness. So hot. Granted, I could take this off, but here's the thing. See, when I'm on my period, I have to be all cozied up. And I even have one of these like heating pads here and I am dying. But if not, then I'm dying on the floor with cramps. It's a sick problem. God, I really don't wanna do this. Now you're probably looking at my hairy toes. Uh oh. Well, this is totally overwhelming. I don't know where to start. That is just the reality. What do I do, people? And I still have that much left, but she's almost bare. This girl is almost gone. I have been asked before, if, if you're interested where I got these bookshelves, they are from Ikea, and my dad just custom put another part up here because literally who hasn't dreamed of having a ladder in their library? I would love that, but eventually, oh my God, honestly, if I could extend this whole thing, <gasps> Oh, I just got an idea. Maybe this could be my library. That would be fire. I don't even use this anymore. This is where I supposedly film, but I've been using my art room recently. And this is just all junk. We need to fix this. All right, so here's the 401. I'm just gonna leave you hanging. Okay, I apologize, but I don't because here's the thing. This is overwhelming me. It's giving me mini panic attacks. Like my heart's going like this. Second of all, my beautiful editor, Winona, she's currently doing finals. And so I know she's not gonna be able to edit all of this footage of me just freaking out, staring at books, being like, what should I do with this, you know, like contemplating my life as if it's life or death. And third of all, I just really want to think about this. What do I want to do here? You know, matter of fact, like if you can comment below, tell me what is the best way to do this? And then I'll do this in tomorrow's vlog. So by author, by color, like rainbow, I feel like that might be make me happy. I don't know. Or by genre, which I've done before. But like I said, I'm a little bit hesitant to redo that just because certain times I gravitate towards only little areas and then I neglect the other areas, you know, but it might be the best way to also do things. So I'm unsure. Let me know down below. In the meantime, I'm going to go have chocolate because I'm on my period. I will show you Jupiter because you always need your daily dose of Jupiterito. So let's go do that. Look at that little mushroom. Literally, my house is starting to fall apart. There is little bits and messes everywhere. And the booty is over here. Come here, you little munchkin. Dennis is currently out running. Oh, this little fatty. He gets so happy when I let him come on here. And Dennis is in here. This little fatty. He's a little baby. He's fat because he's sad. And he's sad because he's fat. He likes to pretend to sleep. Oh, the little baby. Look, my little petunias in there. Do you see them? My little petunias. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I scared you. Oh, my God. Anyways, so I'm just going to relax with this little baby. Coddle him. Look at how he tries to make himself look so small and cute. I hope you guys have a good day. Let me know down below for tomorrow for the library because I really need your opinions. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hey there, little bonus at the end, little thing is. Okay, no, if you made it to the end, you get to see me unbox this little book. Nobody gave it to me. I, I packed this for a video not too long ago for something we did with Google and we couldn't use it in the video. So I don't even remember what book it is, but it's kind of exciting. It's like a little gift to myself. Oh, I remember this one. Oh, snappity doo -da. Oh, this is kind of fun. Honestly, I just want Dennis to give me books this Christmas. That's it. Okay, this is called Fangirl. It's kind of nice. Maybe I should just start reading this one. No, I really want to read The Hating Game. That's all. I want in my life right now. Oh my gosh. Wait, the art is fire. Is there more art in here? I love it. Maybe those were like the two covers that they had. All right, well, I'm about to go. Jupiter is clearly falling asleep. It is time for him to take a bath. Look at that little booty. I love it. Okay, I'm seriously gonna let you guys go now. He's seriously the cutest. I can take it. I love how his little cheeks are so like this. You have little eye things. Okay, bye guys. Bye.